New York Post. It says FBI What's, agents. Who? Uh, Mr. Ben Furhard and Mark Moore. But it says here, FBI agents probing since since debunked claims of a secret back channel between Donald Trump and a Russian bank believed that the allegations had originated with the Department of Justice when, in fact, they came from Hillary Clinton campaign attorney Michael Sussman. What? Who had shot them to the Bureau's then general counsel days earlier. In the latest revelation to emerge... <sighs> from the Sussman's trial in D.C. federal court on account of lying to the FBI. Sussman? Yeah, Mr. Sussman. Special counsel John Durham's prosecutors revealed that investigators had received an electronic communication citing a referral from a DOG on or about, in quotations, which is really weird if it's an electronic document, just saying, September 19th, 2016. The same day Sussman met with James Baker, then the FBI's top lawyer. So the FBI has been wrong. I mean, in that very case, you can say they've been wrong before, right? I mean, yeah. Let's just be nice about it and say they've been wrong before. Well, and according, absolutely. According, here's how you know wrong they have been before. Uh, let's see. Jesse Norris, a criminal justice professor at the State University of New York at uh, Fredonia evaluated 580 terrorism prosecution cases that the FBI had <laughs> this is conducted gonna, this is going to be embarrassing since September 1st 2001 since the Patriot Act was created okay the, the premier law, law enforcement agency in the mm -hmm. land mm -hmm. found that 317 of them involved some type of entrapment by law enforcement officials whoa i.e. probably a lot of FBI uh, and, and here he gives an example. In November 2016, the FBI arrested a young Muslim named Sami Mohammed Hamazi yeah. in an undercover sting that allegedly halted a plan to commit a mass shooting with intentions to kill dozens. However, as the details of the case developed, the accused began to look more like the victim. Although Hamzi was arrested attempting to purchase machine guns, the defense claimed that he was goaded into it. Hamzi had no history of violence and no connection to extremist groups. The defense claimed that the undercover informants influenced Hamzi and stated that all the weapons were provided by the government at the government's suggestion and for a price that was a fraction of the going rate. Hamzi even went to great lengths to consult Islamic spiritual leaders about the planned attack on the Masonic Center. On the advice of these spiritual leaders, Hamzi told the informants that he was not going to participate in the planned attack. And it goes on to talk about how, so he and told... So his imam or whoever is like, that's that, a bad idea. Yeah. You don't need to do that. Right. You really don't need to do that. He, probably, if he, he was probably like, if you really feel like you need to do that, we'll get, a, we'll get some money together. We'll send yeah. you over to Syria. You can commit jihad sure, over there. Sure, there you go. Right, yeah. Or we'll just pray for you, maybe, he said, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, he obviously talked him out of it. Like, no, kid. That's a terrible idea. Well, the FBI thought otherwise. The FBI was like, dang. Well, if my mind serves me correctly well, on this quick. particular... Go ahead, sorry. No, no, okay. Uh, you know about this case, then? Well, yeah. Well, if my mind serves me correctly on this one, um, the young man was depressed. Mm -hmm. he was, obviously, he was Muslim. Yes. He was depressed and was having suicidal thoughts. Mm. Well, he ran into some little honey bucket, you know, chatting it up online. Correct. Weird. Online. And, you know, she's like, you know, he falls in love, you know, online love. And she's like, well, you know, if you like shoot up a bunch of people in the name of Allah, you go become to a martyr, you'll go to heaven. It's not killing yourself. You 21 virgins. And this little Muslim honeypot that's telling him this happens to be the FBI. Yeah, weird. So, huh. And so, huh. so you know, he even. That, that's sickening. I'm it sorry. It is really sickening. I'm sorry. Well, it that gets, is just. So it gets even sicker, right? Because you think about that, how sickening that is. Then when he comes to tell him, says, no, I don't want to do this. I talked to some people. This is a bad idea. I don't think I want to go down this route. So what do they do? Okay, okay. We get it. You know, committing jihad isn't for everyone. So at least why don't you help the group out? 
we got a good deal on some machine guns. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Program. So then they got him to go in and purchase the machine guns that the government, that the FBI had set up to sell him, and then boom, that's how they got him. And it's Dude, like, Dude, why would you do that? Well, we invested all this time and money and resources into busting this terrorist. We no, can't just. I mean, stop why would now. you buy them the damn weapons? Why would you buy the damn weapons, buddy? Come on, man. I don't know, man. Maybe he, she was sending him snaps. Snaps, Some chats, like, or something yeah. that he was really happy about. I don't. Who knows? She's Louise, man. Because here's the other thing: the FBI has, if I'm not wrong, don't they have some like the best psychologists in the country? Supposedly, I, according I mean, to um, network television. According to network, yeah, according to the movies and Hollywood. Forensics, and for, but and they psychologists. have because they have to. They have uh, what was that Denzel movie? The Negotiator. <laughs> I never watched it actually, but well, they gotta have. I love me some Denzel. Those people have to know how to, you know, learn somebody in a quickness, right? And they've been doing it for a long time. So these schools have been set up for a long time. I mean, they also they evaluate serial serial killers, do the F, the profiling for stuff, yeah, profile. without even meeting these people, and the and their profilers are freaking good. Sure. So I mean, I'm not saying. Abolish the the FBI, but I would like to see some reform within it because I believe there are some good things like the database connection, the database, the nationwide criminal database, right? Fantastic. That I think is. A, I mean, a great in the modern world, it, it it's uh it could be a good thing. I believe it can be. I'm always, I guess, I'm just enough of a well. I'll just get out and say it: cynical asshole. To know. That there's somebody that's going to want to abuse that out there. Unfortunately, yes. There is somebody there. And I'm sorry. And, and Washington, D.C. is like the perfect place for them. Well, we know that that cesspool is corrupt and already 